It is a common occurrence for an oil and gas operator organization to bring on a well after initial drilling and completion or after a workover and observe that the production rate is not as expected. If rates are greater than expected, there is some interest and evaluation as to why, and a study may commence. Action is often limited to observing possible rate decline, say waiting two or three months, and then assessing production performance. But this outcome contrasts greatly to the scenario where initial production from a newly started up well is less than expected. Not accurately identifying the correct cause or causes of less than expected production will often lead to costly remedial attempts that likely will result in the failure to achieve a well's maximum productive capacity. Conversely, proper investigative studies that lead to identification of true formation damage will provide the engineer with proven remediation tools to regain well productivity. If acidizing a formation is chosen as a remediation step to take, the stimulation design engineer must also understand corrosion control, iron control, acid diversion, etc. to achieve optimum stimulation results. Poor corrosion control practices can lead to catastrophic failure of well completions. Elemental iron is often present throughout a reservoir's lithology, and ignoring the effects of iron that goes into solution during an acid job to restore productivity can readily turn a successful acid job into a failure. This is due to the precipitation of iron as pH rises during flowback and cleanup following an acid job. If proper acid diversion techniques are not properly analyzed and designed as a fundamental component of an acid job, the acid pumped may just react the most permeable portions of the reservoir, thus leading to job failure. The chemistry of limestone and sandstone remedial acid job treatments to restore production differ greatly. This proper rock mineralogy identification and lab testing with acid processes is mandatory in restoring lost production. Properly identifying formation damage and applying remedial actions will provide the opportunity to restore a well to its maximum productivity.